And some new questions surrounding the timeline of Tuesday's mass shooting at the Texas Elementary School as a grieving community wonders if more could have been done to stop the tragedy. Fox's Madeline Rivera has the very latest from Uvalde, Texas. Heartbroken parents say there are more questions than answers about the police response as they learn more details about the deadly school shooting. Was there a school officer on campus? And was that school officer armed? Because that's what we've been told. A community becoming increasingly frustrated as investigators lay out a more detailed timeline of how the massacre at Robb Elementary School unfolded. Authorities backtracking on initial reports an armed officer was on site, now saying the shooter was undisrupted from the time he shot his grandmother until he made his way inside the school. There was no encounter whatsoever with that initial school resource officer and the gunman. Officials say they're still working to piece together exactly how events unfolded. But some are left wondering if police responded fast enough and if enough was done to save as many lives as possible. The family of 11-year-old victim Leila Salazar says they are holding off on judging the response, focusing instead on getting through the pain. How fast can you act? I mean... I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference it would have made. When he died, I died hard with him. Family members and a community in mourning coming together at a memorial in Uvalde, leaving flowers, candles, and messages of love at the 21 crosses marking each life lost in the shooting. Mother of two, Meghan Markle, just one of many who came to pay their respects. It's happened too many times, and now it happens to us. It has to stop. Texas Governor Greg Abbott was scheduled to speak at the annual NRA convention in Houston. Instead, he will appear virtually and be here later today to address this community. In Uvalde, Texas, Mal Rivera for Good Day New York.